Hello viewers, good afternoon. As we all know, the ASU strike is no longer news because that's been ongoing for months now. It has affected so many students, parents, the economy, and it has also affected the reputation of the nation's universities. So many companies have been threatening to shut down due to the ASU strike. Join me as we find out from Nigerians what they think is the way forward. So about the ASU strike, personally as um, a Nigerian, what do you think is the way forward? Well, ASU strike has been ongoing for quite some time now, and this recent one has become something else. It's been a recurring event, a recurring decimal over the years now. And um, I don't know why Nigerian government is not taking it seriously, because they play down on education. If not, by now, strike shouldn't have taken more than two weeks just to wake up the consciousness of government to educational sector. But unfortunately, our, our, our government, our leaders do not care about education at all. All they think of is just politics, politics, politics. And I just pray that one day we'll be able to get um, a headway. That is why we are looking up to the forthcoming election next year, that Nigerians will understand their pains now and know what to do. Everyone should go out, get your PVC and do your best to ensure that good government that can take care of Nigerian citizens are, are, are elected into office to enable us cushion the effect of this pain that we are going through right now. If I should be a, um, a announced president, I will shut down this nation using the same students. It's a right. It's not a privilege. Nobody's begging federal government for this. Nobody begging um, ASU for this. Everybody's right it is to go to school. Every of them have all of these rights. They enjoyed it. Why are these people suffering? And at the end of the day, they will say, you are 35, we can't give you a job. We are 40, we can't give you a job. But the same them delayed these young people when they were 16 and 18 and 20 and 22. You see? Currently, about the ASU strike, um, what's happening now is really very, very unfortunate to the students who are at home and to the entire nation. Because if you look at the country as a whole, the driving force of any country in terms of infrastructure development, mental development, and every aspect of country at large is education. And now Nigeria is actually battling with education. So my only advice is that the government should work with the agency involved and ensure that they call off the strike. But beyond that, I think the aviation um, industry should go on that same strike, shut down every um, 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 airport, shut down, in fact, everything should be shut down. If ASU is down, everything should be shut down. First, everything, even banks, let them shut down. Uh, maybe federal government from there now will hear that advice. And that's the only advice federal government, they're, they're deaf to everything Nigerians have been singing. So maybe a little shutdown of five days should be enough. The government is at the helm of affairs and there's nothing we can do if they don't do anything themselves. They don't even listen to people. They don't listen, that's the fact. They don't listen to people. They don't listen to citizens, they do it the way they want. Selected few do it the way they want. So what do we do? We're only surviving as the Lord will guide us to live, to, 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 to survive. So that's what I think. Let the country shut down. Even to the power, even power should go off. Everything. Maybe, yes. Yes, I know. But you will get to understand that there's never been um, uh, um, a good story without pain. So let there be sacrifice. I'm willing to pay that sacrifice. Five days, ten days, let it go off. Wow. Esther, I quit the reporting live for this on TV.